gentlemen, I am James Corden, all the way from High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire. You know, I'm only the third... You know, I'm only the third person from High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire to host a late-night talk show in America. <laughs> Completely true. Carson? Carson, Seth Meyers and me. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. The only three. The same suburb of High Wycombe. I'm from Hazelmere, Seth's from Homer Green, and Carson was from actually... Well, he was actually Bisham Abbey Borders. <laughs> <laughs> Which is technically Marlowe, but I think he prefers to say High Wycombe. Beaverton, Oregon, it's me, Oprah, and LeBron. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The yeah. only people to permanently guest wearing a white hat on late night television. <laughs> a white bucket hat, to be specific. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> I wore it all day. Yeah. I'm going to wear it out of here. Yeah. And I figured it would be dishonest to not wear it on television as well. I, 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 I applaud your gumption. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 now that I'm seeing myself up there, I, yeah, I like it. You know, yeah. I stand behind it. I like it. Yeah. Last time I wore a bucket hat, Ben Winston will not let me forget it. <laughs> he won't let me forget it because I wore it to Glastonbury to go, to go low key. It did not work. It was the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. We're looking that's, for a photo. That's true. Find the photo. It's the worst thing Ben's ever seen in his life. There I am. <laughs> oh, my God, no! Yeah. What? Yeah. It's not a... The bucket hat's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels, and it feels amazing. It does. Yeah. And I was... Uh, Glastonbury, I was all in on it. Loving it. Yeah. Didn't Absolutely you get, loving it. Didn't you get caught in a bucket hat trying to exchange change at a grocery store? No, that was worse. That was not a bucket hat. That was way worse. That was way worse. Have we talked about this on the show? Never talked about it? Oh, OK, well, wait. Just upstairs, find the picture of me taking a load of coins to a coin star, right? <laughs> right, right. So, so, we're packing up our house to move to America to do this. We'd had a baby. Uh, nine weeks before this moment, and we're packing up the house. I'm all over the shop. I look like an absolute mess. And we had all the... They had this big jar full of coins. And what do you do with a jar of coins? So I said, Jules said, my wife said, down at the Morrison's, the sort of big supermarket, they've got a coin star. So I said, oh, OK, I'll, I'll take it down there. And she said, are you going to go like that? And I said, it's fine, I'll put this hat on, no one will see me. What I didn't know, which happens in London from time to time, um, but I had no idea, there was a photographer parked outside our house in a car who followed me to said coin star, and um, this is what I look like. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Look, look at the state of that. <laughs> and there's actually a picture, which you'll find, where I dropped one, and I'm bent over, picking it up. <laughs> And you can see my... You can see the top of my underpants and the tiniest hint of a, of a place where you could park your bike if you need. <laughs> there you are! Yay! There you are. Nice cab. <laughs> How did you drop it? I don't understand. You How what? did you drop the coins? It fell out the top, cos they were all on the side and I was walking along, it dropped on the floor, oh. and I thought, well, I'll pick it up and I'll go to the corner. So, oh, mate, I got, like, 90 quid. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think the photographer got paid for those? More than 90 quid, I imagine. <laughs> Had I known he was following me, I'd have gone over and gone, mate, I'll give you all of this money to delete these photos. <laughs> but, yeah, no idea. How come you have this hat? Why did I have that hat? I, 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 no man looks good in this Can hat. I be honest? I don't know where, yeah. I, where that hat came from. It was literally in the cupboard closest... Right. to the door. But it's not just the hat, it's also the three-quarter length sort of, uh, <laughs> sports jegging. <laughs> Which, at that time, was all I was wearing around the house. We were packing up our house. Give me a break. Moving here to do this. <laughs> Which, right now, doesn't feel worth it. <laughs> 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 well, look, on tonight's show, we will be joined right here, live, gang. Live by the always delightful, the one, the only Heidi Klum is here tonight. Heidi! Hi. 
How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? How are you doing? Very good. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, well, we're excited to see you. I'm also relieved. I was almost going to wear that tonight. And oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, since I wore one already... of us would have looked silly. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> How's things, Heidi? How's life? It's so good to see you. Life has been, you know, um, up and down like a roller coaster for everyone else. Same thing here, but um, we're here, so I'm happy. We are here, and we are happy that you are here. Thanks so much for coming to join us. The one, the only, Heidi Klum, everybody. <laughs> and it's the third day of Ed Sheeran week, which means we'll be treated to, to another brilliant performance by him right here in the studio. He's preparing upstairs. Let's check in on him. Ed Sheeran is here tonight. Hey, Ed. Yep. Ed Sheeran, everybody. How are you, bud? Are you well? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm, you know, I'm very well. I'm very well. And I do, I think we all feel now we consider you part of the Late Late team. Oh, don't we, oh, guys? Don't you. we? And this is, this is very much a safe space. You're in the, you're in the trust tree. Are we all right? Should, are we OK to put Ed in the trust tree? Yeah. We're, look at that. I can Ed, you're in the trust tree. I'm no on. one falls. I'm honoured. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to share? Get anything off your chest? Anything on your mind? Uh, I just need to sleep. You I mean, need to sleep? Just, just a nap at some point would be great. Yeah. Oh, well, you can take a nap can now. Yeah, I will. Go on. Go on. Yeah. In, a, Shh. in a bit. Shh. Ed's going to be here later with a performance. Hang on, wait. Pete, is that... Are you... Pete, are you on that camera? OK. Just... <laughs> <laughs> pop the... Just pop the door open just a tiny little bit. <laughs> I'm loving this Ed Sheeran week. I'm absolutely loving it. What's, what's your highlight? How's Ed Sheeran week panning out for you? How you imagined, Reg? Um, it's been great. He's been really, you know, I didn't know much about him other than, you know, we're both, I'm, I'm half redhead and he's a full redhead. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and he's just like, he's just really super chill and really he is Normal. chill, isn't he? Do you know what? I like having Ed here. I've loved him just being around the place. What a lovely guy. He makes me think I'm not in love with the shape of you. I'm not. <laughs> He's, uh, what, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I thought you were doing a joke. <laughs> I got confused. I was. I was doing a joke. <laughs> I, I absolutely was doing that. <laughs> that was premature ejaculation right there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd settle for you just being in the vicinity of ready. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Being in the vicinity. You are? Just being in the vicinity. Yeah, just being in that's. <laughs> oh God, that's what I said. Are you drunk? <laughs> I, you, I literally, just, Hagar, I just said, or I'd settle for you being in the vicinity of it, and you went, yeah, just in the vicinity. <laughs> I know what she meant. You knew what she meant, yeah. Absolutely. It's because you're drinking the same drink, I imagine. <laughs> we cannot keep drinking on this show, guys. It's got to slow down. It has to, it has to slow. I know we're so close to, like, the mid-year break, but we are, we are right, we are right on the edge of, we're, let's be honest, our third call from the bosses upstairs. <laughs> We're, we're about to hit the part of the documentary with the piano music. <laughs> oh, yes. And then it's just you going... And it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was part of it. And, you know, no one knew. We just thought Hagar was only drinking at work. We didn't realise... <laughs> we didn't realise that, that she was that drunk all the time. <laughs> We wouldn't get... Do we, have you had any pushback from the, the, the level of drinking, Nico? When you go home at night these days and <laughs> someone from your family asks you what you did on the show today, what, what do you even tell them? No, so I'd so give you a very honest answer. Nobody asks. <laughs> <laughs> they are so past asking, no one cares. It's like I'm just coming back, which is what I'm doing, just coming back from work like you know we talked the other week about uh i went to a kid's birthday party and i didn't have a good time ben called me after was like how much of that do you want to keep in i was like honestly i think it's fine because at that very party 
four separate people said to me, when are you going to get to go back into the studio? <laughs> <laughs> And I just go, soon, with any luck. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, no. What does your wife say, Nick, when you tell her that you're doing a podcast at the weekend? <laughs> she got very <laughs> mad at me that um, I did the podcast uh, through dinner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> For God. hour three That's showbiz, man. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You're the other side of the line. You're in the you're in the bright lights. I, the, I, the adoration. Yeah, I I, uh, I have felt myself way too much at this point. <laughs> well, we don't need to get into the <laughs> don't need to get in the into right. literal ins and outs you know of what? your relationship, Nick. I don't think any of us care how much you're feeling yourself. You know, the the great thing about Ed Sheeran was how nice he was to all of us. That was really fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> wasn't the question I asked you. I think we were... I think at that point we were talking about you wanking, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. You know what? Having Ed here... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Having Ed here makes me think I'm not in love with the shape of you. <laughs> I'm in love with the shape of news. That's right, it's time for the news! <laughs> Of course, we're heading into the 4th of July weekend, and according to estimates, more than half of adult Americans will be travelling over the holiday. In fact, it's setting up to be the busiest weekend of travel since the pandemic began. And when I say travel, I mean drive one state over to buy illegal fireworks. <laughs> Americans are getting out of the house and taking road trips this 4th of July. I guess you could say they're ditching the Zoom Zoom for some vroom vroom to see fireworks go boom boom. <laughs> In other news, starting tomorrow, the entire European Union will be open to anyone with a digital COVID passport, meaning travellers can move freely without any additional testing or the need to quarantine. A digital passport. Unfortunately, your selfie with the vaccine card that got 17 likes does not count. <laughs> There are some small differences for each country. Uh, for instance, if you're travelling to Italy, you have to show your passport and then promise not to take one of those photos where it looks like you're holding up the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and in France, if you don't have a digital passport, they will also accept a very well-mimed passport. <laughs> um... I'm a skilled circus performer. <laughs> and did you see this? A single parking space in a luxury Hong Kong apartment building recently sold for a new world record amount. It sold for $1.5 million, which breaks down to more than $11,000 per square foot. I'd love it if they bought that for $1.5 million and then just parked a 1998 Honda Odyssey. <laughs> $1.5 million for a parking space, to which people in L.A. were like, oh, my God, you found parking? Where? <laughs> this is the million-dollar listing show that I would like to see. I would. We have a beautiful property that just opened up right downstairs, two freshly painted lines on either side, and... Well, that's it. It's a parking space. That's what it is. <laughs> And here's a story from my homeland. A judge in England recently ruled for an employee who sued his employer, saying that going to the pub after calling in sick to work is not a fireable offence. I mean, the stones on this guy. But Dave, you called in sick and then you went to the pub that same day. I'm afraid that's going to be a mark on your record. Oh, yeah? I'll see you in court. <laughs> Going to the pub when off work sick is not a fireable offence, although leaving work in the middle of the day to get a massage definitely is. I just wanted you to hear that directly from me, Louis, OK? <laughs> How many if, if massages... If CBS isn't going to provide a masseuse, I've got to outsource it. <laughs> All right? How many... Get more like Google, come on. How many massages have you been for during a work day in the amount of time you've worked here, do you Six think? Six years? Yeah. 23? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I have I have had one. One. Once. Once. once Why I did you do it. that? I can't. I'm stressed. Stressed? Yeah. <laughs> Working for you, you <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. A woman in Oregon recently came to an alarming conclusion that her pet cat was a criminal. So she put this sign up in her yard saying, my cat is a thief, <laughs> while displaying all of the goods that her cat had taken from <laughs> neighbours. That way, her neighbours could retrieve the items. The cat's promised to quit after this one last job. <laughs> the thief may be a cat, but that owner is a rat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it gets worse for this woman. Her cat isn't the only one committing crimes in the neighbourhood. Here's the other sign in her yard. My parakeet sells cocaine. <laughs> and that... That's the news! Woo!